you have the topics for today kind of spelled out. I, I thought it was a good idea that you know beforehand what we are going to discuss. Uh, part of the seminar will be devoted to changes in Appendix D, Anchoring to Concrete, from 318.05 to 318.08. Some of these changes are significant, uh, not all of them are related to the question is our life getting easier, but I thought it will be good to discuss all the, ch all the significant changes. Then changes in the modifications that the model code, the IBC makes to Appendix D. Those have changed from 2006 IBC to 2009 IBC. Some of the changes are the result of changes we have made in Appendix D of ACI 318, but not all the changes are related to ACI changes. Anyway, we will take a look at that. And then uh, the wood sill plate connection in light frame construction, that has become a major area of discontent, let us say, particularly in California, a major area of discontent with Appendix D. Uh, we will take a look at what the problems are and the solution that has emerged. And finally, the anchorage of concrete and masonry walls to diaphragms providing lateral support, the anchorage force. Uh, has gone up, as you probably know, in, in <laughs> uh, I would say, over the last two decades to the current levels, which are pretty high. And the question is, do we still need ductile anchor failure to go with these high forces? So, so that is a topic that has caused some uh, uh, problems to engineers and, and we will take a look, uh, at least a brief look, because in that area also the code is providing us with some relief in, in, in recent times. Now the first uh, item is a change in ACI 31808, uh, which is almost a correction. Anchor group was defined in 31805 as a number of anchors uh, with embedment depth, uh, no, the anchor spaced at less than three times the embedment depth. Now that definition made a lot of sense for anchors in tension, did not make sense for anchors subject to shear. So for anchors subject to shear, uh, uh, the the second part to the definition has been added in 318.08. Uh, so when anchors are subject to shear, a group is where the spacing does not exceed three times C sub A1, which is the edge distance in the direction of shear, because that is the important parameter, not the embedment depth when when it is shear rather than tension that the anchors are subject to. So the definition of anchor group revised uh, and the revision being necessary because of essentially a deficiency in the or, or something that was overlooked in the O5 definition. Uh, then uh, this is the, I would say, the gen genesis of the problem that uh, California in particular faced when 2006 IBC was adopted as the basis of the California Building Code on January 1 of 2008. The IBC, like the UBC, has allowable stress design in section 1911 of the code and strength design in section 1912. The allowable stress design of 1911 is actually taken from 1997 UBC. So the first question is, why is there a problem? If the same anchor design procedure that California designers have used all these years is also to be found in section 1911, what is the problem? The, the problem stems from what I put on this uh, screen on this particular slide. 1911 says in black and white where strength design is used 
or where load combinations include earthquake effects that would cover all California anchors. The design strength of anchors shall be determined in accordance with section 1912.